Seattle. Very close to you. Yeah, we get that in Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah, we watch Como TV sometimes. That's good. Nice. We like to hear that. Now, you yeah. actually live there, right? Yeah, uh, I did high school and university there. And then you kept going back, and that's where you guys shot. What did you think? Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver's beautiful. beautiful. City. Very clean, very tidy. It's <laughs> very clean, very tidy. Very tidy. It's I love that. Truly. He's like very clean, very tidy. Uh, it was. It's, it is. It's, it's like, like one of the cleanest it is. cities on the planet. And Vancouver has family there too. And it is. Lived on the North Shore. Yeah, my mom's Canadian. So. Okay. And there's like you've got a beach, you've got like the forest, you've got the mountains, you've got like everything. It's great. Very tidy. Yeah, very have, tidy. Yeah, very clean. So you guys, do you feel pressure trying to bring this franchise? back because obviously there's this great generation of people who grew up with it and now you get to reintroduce it you know what, I mean, how, how is that uh, for me I, I I don't take on that pressure for me because I'm my responsibility is to the character and to just do the character justice that's my job that's what I that's what <laughs> yep. I'm here to do yeah. so um, <clears throat> that's what I focused on um, and then everything that's and then I trusted Dean and I trusted everyone um, with all the, the iconic elements, they're all built into the script. You know, everything that the fans yeah. and the old school fans want to see, mm -hmm. that it's in the movie. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, that's kind of how I see it. That's what I focus on. And hopefully um, people and kids will relate to at least one of these characters um, whilst enjoying the, uh, you know, everything that's iconic about Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. And Dacre, you get to play the, the high school jock, Mr. Popular, gets into a little bit of trouble. But I think one of the neat things about this is the characters and how they're all so different and they all end up getting along. Yeah, well, I think ultimately he does break that stereotype that you sort of perceive him to be at the beginning of the film and you're right, does develop a plethora of relationships with unlikely teenagers at the school and um, that's what I think is so, that's what entices me, you know? Like the fact that Ludi, as an example, Ludi's character Zach is such a lone ranger, you know, and he's, mm -hmm. you, but then by the end of the film, he comes together and we all come, you know, in life that happened with us as people. Mm -hmm. We met and we hit it off straight away, but then over the last year, we've learned so much more about each other. Mm -hmm. And I think in some ways, we embody aspects of our characters in real life. You talk about he's sort of on the fringe as his character, but you're also the one who gets everybody to jump first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's right. Point. I think, um, I I think like that's it. Zach, you know, yeah. he's like on the wild side. He's, he's kind of like a lone, if you uh, use an animal metaphor, he's kind of like the lone uh, male lion without his pride. Hmm. Right? He's on the outside and he looks in, but he has to deal with his own issues too. Um, and just to follow up on what Dacre said, it is like in real life because say in real life in high school, you see these cliques that are very stereotypical, right. but then you see unlikely people getting along together as well. And that's how they find each other by the end of this movie. They overcome their differences, really shed that mask that society puts on them and, uh, and really open up and confront that they each have insecurities and issues and that they can't get together. And the only way actually to do something better is to get together. And so to the teens who get introduced to the Power Rangers movie, advice to them on, you guys have all made it and, and gotten started with your career. But it doesn't just happen overnight, does it? No, it doesn't. No, it's that overnight success. It's 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 not true. It's just the it's kind of like a facade. It's what people see on the surface. It's what people like to believe in. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's just yeah. hard work. Mm -hmm. Like one step at a time, hard work. Keep keep going, and don't let anyone tell you that uh, dreams are unrealistic. If it's truly making you happy, if it's truly what you want to do, fight for it, and you'll get it. Awesome. Great to meet all of you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely.